Welcome, 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 welcome back, everybody. Today, I found a new video to do. We're back on Oofufu, and we're doing the best arcs in anime. I was going to do openings, but I realized I was going to get copyright claimed to death. So I said, you know what, let's just do anime arcs. Hopefully, I don't fuck this up. Uh, God damn it, I started. Uh, I'll do round of 64. I'm not going to dilly-dally on this nonsense. Uh, okay. We're gonna start with oh 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 my god! We're gonna start with oh no! This is actually like this is a top five versus top five arcs. This is top three versus top three arcs in Naruto and in One Piece. Any's lobby is a top three arc. Pain is a top three arc. I can't really rank this on what's better. I gotta rank this on what, which one I like more because I think they're both freaking amazing. I think they both have amazing moments. I love the pain arc. I hate that pain ending though. I think that's what's gonna make me choose Eni's lobby. I think the ending where it's just talk no jutsu and then he heals everybody and everybody comes back to life. I feel like that's a little bit of bullshit. I'll be honest with you. But the arc, the fights. I love when Naruto showed up. That's one of the best entrances in anime, period. When Luffy knocked out Bueno, and then he fought Rob Lucci. That's one of the best fights. Robin's I Wanna Live. I have to choose in his lobby. I really hate the fact that he just healed everybody in the village. I feel like that was a get-out-of-jail free card, and that just saved Konoha. Because imagine if he didn't do that. Kakashi would be dead. Damn near everybody would be dead. The whole village would be destroyed. And it'd be like, who the fuck are they going to like? You know? But we're going to go in his lobby. I know, I know people are going to be yelling at me, but I have to go in his lobby. Uh, I don't know any of these. I haven't watched Baki, and I'm not there. I'm still on season one of Demon Slayer. So I'll just pick Demon Slayer and kick it out the next round. Oh, oh my. They just want to put Naruto against One Piece. Alabasta arc is my favorite arc. But when it compared to the Four Shinobi War arc, <sighs> this is tough. Because, oh, damn, this, damn, damn, this is tough. Oh, oh no. Oh no. What the hell? What just happened? Uh, whatever. Uh, Alabasta versus Four Shinobi War arc. Four Shinobi War arc got too much bullshit in there, but it has um like like the highs and lows of like uh of the Four Shinobi arc is like a fucking wave graph. And Alabasta is solid, but there is the biggest bullshit of Luffy, Luffy defeating Cro Crocodile. So, but we met Bond Clay there. Zoro fucking cuts metal. We met Robin there. We met a uh, fucking Vivi there. Uh, Mr. Two was amazing. Crocodile, a great villain. Luffy standing up to Vivi. Zoro being a badass. Sanji being a badass. Usav getting shit done. It was a great fucking arc. But I'm going for Shinobi War. It had too much nonsense in there. I can't, I can't. Oh my god. Date vs. Ibo? Briggs arc? What the hell is the Briggs arc? Date vs. Ibo was insane. That was one of my, that's uh, not my favorite arc. I think uh, Ippo versus Volk and Ippo versus Sende, Sendo round one and round two. Lollapalooza. Round two Lollapalooza? Oh my god, that shit was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm going to look up Briggs arc real quick just to make sure I know what they're talking about. Fort Briggs, uh, the American military installation. Uh, Briggs is home to Armistice First Military Garrison against Drachma, led by General Armstrong. Okay, what happened? I don't remember what happened. I'm I'm going down to Ipo. I'm sorry, I don't remember Full Metal Alchemist as much. The whole Full Metal Alchemist, I think, is one of the best like anime shows that are just a a story and that's it. Like a lot of anime shows are like characters that follow an adventure. I feel like F Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is a story, and you follow that story. Uh, I don't really think any arc is like the best out of the, uh, other than the one where uh, I forgot his name, but the bad guy who was Wrath, I'm pretty sure, 
fought the whole military. That was crazy. Um, Roy Mustang fighting Envy or Lust or whoever it was. That was crazy as well. Date Ipo wasn't like one of the best arcs though. I'm going Date Ipo. I don't remember. I remember Date Ipo more than I remember the other one. Sendo. Oh, <laughs> this is going to go top five for me. I have not watched. A, I remember I read Ashita no Joe like so, so long ago. But I can't remember it for the life of me. They need a remake on this an uh, this manga or the anime. Bring it out again because it was lit when I remember. When I remember, I remember it. It was lit. But this was fucking f La La Palooza, bro. When he slipped that shit, hit the gazelle punch, and then started fucking uh Dempsey rolling in that bitch. Oh my god, that shit was live. I was in my. I was in my. Oh, I was going crazy. I don't, I don't, I've never watched Jujutsu Kaisen. So we're going Naruto. Dark Tournament. Oh, Dark Tournament. Dark Tournament. That's the best anime tournament. Netherworld Arc, Fire Force, or JoJo's. I'll just pick JoJo's. I haven't watched either. I watched one episode of JoJo's. Shibuya, I haven't watched the Jujutsu Kaisen. We're going Fullmetal Alchemist. The Boat Arc. What show and movie is this? This looks interesting as hell though. I ha I haven't gotten to this arc. A one night gambler ship where those in a dead end gather. If I win, my debt will be closed. I gotta look this up. I wanna read that manga. Shit looks extraordinary. The boat arc. Berserk? It was only bad because of the long release time and it's actually amazing. Oh, so people say it's amazing. It's Berserk versus De Demon Slayer. I'm just going to go Demon Slayer. I haven't gotten to it yet, but... Oh, my... Oh, oh! Ah, this is tough. I have to go Overhaul. Overhaul was amazing. I loved Mirio in it. But this is one of the most underrated fights. Because a lot of Hajime no Ippo fans and people who love Hajime no Ippo, the problem with them is they are look at... um. They look at only Ippo's fights. And Ippo's fights from the tournament, from him facing Mashiba for the first time, that was a lit fight. Him versus Volk. Him versus uh, uh, Sendo twice. But then the only other fights they look at is uh, the big guy. Can't remember his name, but the big guy. You know who I'm talking about. The main character in the show that's not Ippo. Him versus Eagle and Hawk or whatever. Those two fights were phenomenal. But I think this is the third best one. This one was unexpectedly baller, but I'm going overall. Hajime no Ippo needs to get its flowers. I should have gone 128 because this is too little. Uh, Arc for the Everlasting Contract. I think this is uh, Konosuba. Oh, no, that's not Konosuba. That's ReZero. I haven't watched ReZero to that point. Hero Association Arc. Oh, in one punch, man. I remember this. Hero Association versus... Oh, it's Heaven's Arena. Heaven's Arena was lit. I don't remember that one as much. Uh, Training Camp Arc. I don't know this anime. What anime is this? Oh, this is Food Wars. Food Wars versus Gata High School. We'll go Food Wars. Gata High School is ass. Arlong Park versus the Saiyan... Oh, oh. I don't remember the Saiyan Arc. I only remember like a little bit of the Boo Saga, the Cell Saga. I remember, uh, I, don't, I don't even remember. I remember him fighting. I remember Cell fight. I remember Boo. I remember uh, Piccolo. I remember Raditz. I remember who else? Frieza. I didn't watch Super at all. I don't remember this at all. Arlong Park though. This is what I always tell people who like One Piece. I always tell them, hey, no, not One Piece. People who want to get into One Piece. If you watch One Piece and you get to the Arlong Park arc and you decide, hey, I'm not going to watch it because uh, this shit's still boring or whatever, I, I just can't be. Like, if you get to the Arlong Park arc and think this is not a freaking amazing anime, then I don't know what to tell you. I'm freaking Arlong Park. I don't give a fuck. Oh, this is the best manga arc ever. Pachinko arc. Is this Gintama versus Co Cosmic Garo fight? Oh my god, that shit was lit. 
But I have to look up Bachinko. I don't know what that is. Kaiji. Kaiji against all rules. Oh, I'm I'm getting put onto a new anime. Okay, hold on. Let me go to the let me go to the anime season one. Gyokai Burai Kaiji Ultimate Survivor is the about from 2007. That that means it's a hit. Kaiji, oh, let me just show you what I'm looking at. Kaiji Ito is a bum who, after being wasted, after being who, after being wasted his time, not English, gambling, drinking, and vandalizing luxury cars. This changes one day when he's paid a visit by Long Shark Yuji Endo, who's there on behalf of the Tei Corporation. He reminds Kaiji of a loan of 300,000, 300.0. Come on, dog. That he helped his former coworker Takeshi apply for after months of missed payments. The debt has risen to a total of 3.8 million. Holy shit. Endo seeing Kaido's distress informs him of an undergone gambling event sponsored by Tei that promises to wipe. You never join anything like that. Expresses his position. Why would you? Oh, okay. Okay. I like this. Uh, Let's go to the world. Or let's go to the media. Can I go arcs? Let's do kaiji arcs. I think this is the same thing. Arc list. Like this. List of kaiji volumes. Nigga. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so the bow arc was pot part of this. So there's the bow arc, the balancing act arc, the e card, underworld, pachinko, mahjong. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Special poker arc, and the dodging arc that's still going. I have to watch this anime. This shit look lit as a bitch. What is it called? It only has two seasons. They were acting like there was way more. There's probably a manga then. Where's Mal at? Oh, where's the manga? Is this season two? Yeah, this is season two. And this is the manga. How many chapters? 158 it's finished from 96 to 99 uh anime 26 episodes second season is 26 all right i'm definitely watching this this should look like a movie this should look like a movie uh pachinko arc i'm gonna go cosmic garo oh, let's go nami saga i have not watched or read berserk and i refuse to because hey I'm sorry if anybody's gonna get like sad about this, but in reality, the guy's kind of dead, and uh, I don't want to like I like I I remember the feeling of reading Vagabond, getting to that last chapter, and it's been like I got to it in 2016. I read it in 2016, so when I got to the end of Vagabond, I still had hope that it was gonna come back. It stopped writing in 2015. It hasn't come back since, so I don't want to read Berserk. Knowing that it's not going to come back. I'm sorry. Rest in peace to the author. But I really just can't read it. I know it's amazing. I know. But it's going to leave such a bittersweet like taste in my mouth. I hated the guy who wrote Vagabond for so long. Because of the fact that he didn't freaking finish the show. Like he didn't finish it. He left it on such an epic part. Because the Vagabond beginning was really hard to get into. Then it got lit. Then it got really lit. And then for 70 episodes, he was farming, which I didn't mind. I liked the significance of it. But then five chap 70 chapters, I mean, 70 chapters he was farming. Five chapters later, when there was about to be a crazy fight, because some I remember some guy was coming, and he had to fight him, and he was like one of the best fighters. I was like, oh my God, it's about to be lit, and it just ended. It just ended. Left me cuckled. I was pissed off, blue balled. I was pissed. I don't want that shit to happen again. I know Berserk has the best villain in in that guy and the best main character, the Black Swordsman, but I, I just can't read it. By the way, this is Chunin Exam Arc. Next up, KG Mogami Arc versus Fishman. Fishman Arlock Arc was not that strong, I'll be honest, but what the hell is this? KG Mo. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that. Ah, damn it. Zero Recreate Arc. Okay, Code Geass versus Greed Island. Don't remember this. I watched Code Geass a long time ago. Okay, that was Mob Psycho. That's on my list. 
Uh, Code Geass versus Hunter Hunter. I'm going Hunter Hunter. Greed Island was amazing. The Moon Banquet Festival Vest. What the hell is this? Is this Food Wars again? Boat Arc? What the hell is this? Oh, this is Berserk. Berserk versus Food Wars? Let's go Food Wars. Uh, Dragon Ball. Gun Devil Arc. What the hell is this? Is this 21st Century Saga? We'll see. Oh, that's Chainsaw Man. Valhalla Arc versus Grand Car. What is this? I should know this. Why am I learning all these new ass animes, bruh? What's Valhalla? Do I remember this? I think I know what Valhalla Arc is. No, I don't. That's Tokyo Revengers. Don't remember that. I stopped Tokyo Revengers. By the way, Tokyo Revengers is not good. Okay, this is Seven Deadly Sins. Seven? No, it's not. Grand Cross Arc. It's not, it's not fucking Tokyo's. Oh, Shamo. Shamo. I remember Shamo. Shamo was a fucking, was a show. It was a, sh uh, I didn't, no, it wasn't show. It was a, it was a, yeah, it's a manga. This was dark as fuck. I think it was the manga where the guy who went to prison and there was like a rapist in the prison that raped him. That shit was fucking scary as hell. Because he didn't do it, but he got forced to go into I'll go Shamo. Uh, Tokyo Avengers is ass cheeks. I don't give a fuck. Alpha and Omega, Omega fight. Oh, yeah, this is from Hajime no Ippo versus Alfheim. What the I'm learning all this new shit. Why don't they put the real animes in this bitch? Fucking. Ah. Oh my god, this shit is lame as hell, boy. Tournament of Power versus Conviction. I don't. I don't know. I don't know these arcs. I haven't read Shamo in a minute, and I refuse to. Uh. Let me click it. They're not. They won't let me click it. <laughs> they know what I'm about to win. Lethal Fight arc. This is probably Shamo again. Versus Battle City. Let's go Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is one of my favorite animes when I was a kid. Uh. I'm going Wano. Wano is one of the best uh, One Piece arcs. Tartaro's arc versus Hideout. Here's the thing about Fairy Tail. Fairy Tail is one of the most mid good shows ever. The powers are good. The characters are good. The fights are good. But the problem is at the end of every fight is we beat this guy through friendship. We beat this guy through this. We beat this guy through that. It's dead ass one of the worst fucking like explanations ever. But I love Fairy Tail. We're going Arlong Arc. We're going Marine Ford. That's an easy swipe. And he's lobby. Easy. We'll go Demon Slayer. I don't know what that is yet. Let's go Cell. Let's go Namek. Greed Island. This is kind of getting a little easy. They're putting up all the uh, better ones now. I guess the next round is about to be crazy. Coalition Army arc. Shit was fucking amazing. We'll go Yu-Gi-Oh. Sasuke Retrieval arc. Shit was amazing. Four Shinobi War. Shit was amazing. Going Lollapalooza. Shit was amazing. Oh my god. 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 Two of the best tournament arcs in all of anime. Oh, I, I don't think I could fucking script this at all. I really, really don't. I really, really don't. Damn. Dark tournament versus tuning exams. Oh my god, this is tough. Tuning exams is amazing. 
from the beginning where he says I'm gonna give you this paper and if you decide to do it uh, you guys got to show up here 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 then they all show up I thought Sakura for sure wasn't gonna show up but she did then they get there then uh, then they couldn't find the place then they fought Lee then uh then the Kabuto's being a slimy bitch then a uh, fucking I love when Naruto stood up was like I'm not giving up and he like fucking motivated everybody and then they went to the forest of death they fought Orochimaru then the whole like leaf 12 or whatever saved them from being f uh from the sound sound ninjas and then Sasuke got that uh, power boost and then uh, Sasuke versus Naruto when Naruto beat him with the Rasengan. Uh, actually, I think that was before Sasuke retrieval arc. And then um, Gara versus uh, uh, Rock Lee. Uh, what's it called? Naruto versus Kiba was kind of ass. I hated how you won that fight. But Naruto versus Neji was good. Shikamaru versus Tamari was good. Uh, Sasuke's entrance was baller. Uh... Uh, me, uh, what's it called? Not Mita. So Hiruzen versus Orochimaru, Naruto versus Gara, bro. There was so many amazing things. But Dark Tournament arc had me on my seat every week. Every week it had me on my seat. It's the best tournament arc in all of anime. Period. Yusuke was crazy. The main villain was Togashi. I don't know his name, but he Toshiro. I don't know the guy with the glasses. Oh my God, he was a villain. But he and this this guy, girl, whatever the fuck, red hair wolf, and then the master, and then Kawa. Oh my God, Kawa with the sword. Oh, this is such a tough decision. Because I remember watching this arc. It was late at night when I first started. I didn't get a wink of sleep. And then I had to like, it was like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and I heard people waking up in my crib. I had to like put my shit away and act like I was asleep. And this was back when my bed was broken, so I was sleeping, like, like on the floor. So, like, bro, oh, I remember this shit like it was yesterday, bro. I remember watching this shit. I was watching it on YouTube. I remember I couldn't find an episode for, like, 10 minutes because, like, it was, like, um, sometimes on YouTube, when you're watching, like, some guy who uploaded all the anime episodes, what they do is, like, one of the episodes doesn't have, like, either the freaking captions or, like, Something's wrong with the audio. It's fucked up, and you want a better. I remember. I remember. I'm going dark tournament. I love Naruto. I'm going dark tournament. That was a really hard decision, but I had to go dark tournament. Oh my god, I don't give a fuck. Oh. Ooh, I'm going to Heaven's Arena. Oh no. This is another anime episode I was watching on YouTube. I watched Yu Yu Hakusho, Fairy Tale, and Hajime no Ippo all on YouTube. Oh my God, Hajime no Ippo! Lala Palooza was crazy, bro. Sendo was going stupid. The ending of that fight is top. Oh, I ha I have to pull it up. I'm gonna have to pick Dark Terminator here, but I have to pull up that fight. I have to pull up that fight. The ending was like, bro, because the whole, like, the whole point of, like, this whole, like, um, the training arc before the fight, uh, not Luffy, Ippo was trying to combine his moves. He had the gazelle punch, he had the Dempsey roll, and then he had the feints, and he was trying to master all three of them. And at the end of the fight, he feints this nigga, hits him with a gazelle punch, then Dempsey rolls him, and bang! Bang, 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 bang. It's going on for so long because Sendo's a fucking tank and he took all them punches and then finally Ippo hits him with the fucking swinger and knocks him the fuck out. Damn. One of the best fights in all of anime, period. His top 15 all time, I promise you. That's the best, like, non-fantasy, non-shonen, not any of that, like, real-life boxing fights. That's one of the best fights ever. Maybe the best one. It was so fucking crazy. I think it went to like, I don't know how many rounds, but I'm going Dark Tournament. Dark Tournament as a whole, it has way much, much more to offer. This is just two guys fighting. And as cool as that is, this had so much like, 
there was so much character development so much new powers you learned so much about Hiei and the red wolf person and the master went crazy and then the, the villains that they went up against was fucking amazing i gotta go dark tournament oh no oh no this is tough i love wano wano is one of my favorite one piece arcs i put it in the fifth slot i have say alabasta wano uh, Marine Ford, uh, Arlong Park, and Any's Lobby slash Water Seven are all up there, but Coalition Army Arc is too good, bro. Imagine this, right? Imagine the whole world goes up against you, and you somehow defeat all of them, bro. Like I can't, like, bro. I'm going Coalition Army Arc. I'm going. I think this and Dark Tournament are gonna be in the final. An hour long arc. Oh my god. Here's the problem here. For Shinobi War Hark has too much great moments, but uh, Annie's Lobby has great fights too. But it's just, mo I remember Monster Point from Annie's Lobby. Oh, this is tough. I'm going Annie's Lobby. Ah, oh, no, I can't. This is tough. This is tough. Four Shinobi War Arc is good, but... Bro! I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I really, really don't know what to do here. We're going Four Shinobi War Arc. I have to. I fucking have to. Marine Ford. What the fuck? Not even a question. Sasuke Retrieval Arc versus Greed Island. I think Sasuke Retrieval Arc was amazing. It tailed off towards the end. Oh, no, 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 it did it. No, it did it. No, it did it. I'm thinking about something else. What was I thinking about? I was thinking about something else. Greed Island art, though. Amazing art. I love how the way that the card system worked. This is one of my f mo the most unique anime arcs. I love it. Uh, I think it's my favorite Hunter x Hunter arc other than Heaven's Arena and, like, York New City. This is one of my favorite Hunter x Hunter arcs. But the last fight versus the bomb guy bomber that shit was lame bro that shit was lame the naruto versus sasuke fight at the end of this bitch whew, tough that shit was amazing now we have two lame ass niggas in the final eight marine for finally we got rid of that bum we're going dark tournament we're going for shinobi war that's easy Going Coalition Army Arc. Oh my god. I really hope this wouldn't happen. I really hope this wouldn't happen. This is my favorite anime arc versus my favorite manga arc. All time, by the way. My favorite anime arc is Marine Ford. My favorite manga arc is Coalition Army. I know the anime is out for Kingdom. But I the reason the way I got into Kingdom was I watched season 1 and season 2 when it was out. And then I read the manga. And then I started the manga over from chapter 1 and read the manga. The manga is way better. And they skipped an arc in the anime. The manga is way better and it flows nicer. And the fights are cooler. The anime, the animation is kind of ass cheeks. I don't know about season 3 because I never watched it. But the fucking anime, the manga was... It's my favorite manga I've ever read. And this is my favorite arc in that manga. And this is one of my favorite animes. And this is my favorite arc in the anime. Actually, no it isn't. I think Alabasta is better, but Marine, Fo like the whole like return us, uh, not return. You go to Sabodi, then you get kicked to the female island arc. Then you go to Impel Down. Then you go to Marine Ford. Then you go after Marine Ford. That whole saga, nothing touches that in anime. Period. Period. But Marine Ford by itself had, to bro. Remember the first time he used hockey and stopped the execution. Oh my god. And then he jumped up to these guys, threw the log on them, and then uh, when Ace finally got free and you were like, I did not believe Ace was going to get free. I thought they were going to kill him. Whitebeard died without taking a single bullet to his back. Ace died. I got to go Marine Ford. It's too good. See, now here's the problem. Dark Tournament is amazing. It's too good, but for Shinobi War has too much shit in it. Now here's the final matchup. I knew this was going to be the final matchup, but I'm going Marine Ford. 
And the simple, the, the answer is because Marineford, there was no dull moments. Shit was fucking insane. Mihawk uh, versus Diamond Josu versus Vista, where he tried to cut Luffy. Uh, when um, freaking Ivankov uh, saved Luffy, gave him some hormones. Uh, Luffy fighting the three admirals all at once. Luffy finally getting up there. Luffy versus Garp. He punching the shit out of his dad. Uh, Blackbeard showing up and killing Whitebeard out of nowhere. Shanks showing up to finish the war. Kobe stepping up to Akainu. Akai, uh, uh, what's it called? Whitebeard beating the shit out of Akainu. Oh, bro. Too many great moments. I'm going Marine for it. That's my final answer, dog. That's my final answer. That's oh, that's one of my favorite videos I've ever done. Let's look at what everybody else did. Marine Fort. I'd even get Chimera at Arc or Golden Age. Oh shit. Ah oh, damn, I'm just gonna have to scroll. Fucking hell. Alright, we got Marine Fort, Chimera Ant, Golden Age, and he's lobby, pain. Wano, Cell, Four Shinobi War, Chunin Exams. Oh, Return to Shigashino was a cool arc. Shibuya never read it. Namek, okay. Sasuke, L arc. They didn't put the, so they didn't put Sosai. They didn't put York New. I remember too. they didn't put Boo. Farmland arc. I'm pretty sure this is Vinland Saga or, or Vagabond. Promise Day. Uh, Zero Cream. Oh my God! They had Gintama arc in here, and they didn't show me. Next time I do this video, I'm gonna have to go plus 100, like all options. I have to, because I can't miss all these amazing arcs, bro. Coalition. Farewell, Shinsengumi. Oh my god! The War Arc and Villain Saga. Weko Mundo Arc. Cosmic Garo Arc. Alfred Incarnation Arc from Black Clover. The first arc of Promised Slammerland should be here. Dude, fucking amazing. I have to do another one of video videos like this. And I'm going to do um I'm gonna do plus all options. Hold on, can I reload this? The fuck? What the fuck happened? One hundred and ten candidates. Next time, I'm gonna look at the candidates and I'm picking the max amount. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. You made it this far. Thirty minute video, long as hell, but I appreciate it anyway. Uh, if you like the video, please like the video. Comment on the channel if you have anything to say, uh, anything critique. If you have a problem with me skipping your favorite arc or whatever, uh, let me know. Subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate all subscriptions. Hit that notification bell to know when I upload. Uh, you know. Share the video with your friends, family, etc. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.